Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the second installment, a baby girl haul again because I am out of control and I cannot stop. <laughs> Someone please take my wallet away from me. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am Lex. I have a 17 month old, almost a year and a half year old son named Cooper, a lovely husband named Dan, and our English bulldog Mush. We also are expecting our rainbow baby in June and we are having a baby girl. I always thought that I would be a boy mom, like just through and through, and lo and behold, we're having a girl. So. After the shock kind of settled a little bit, the spending started. <laughs> Since the last baby girl haul, I have managed to compile quite the amount of stuff again. So we need to get directly into this video and we need to move at lightning speed. So if you guys have any questions about any of the products that you've seen in this video, I will happily answer them in the comment section below. Comment away. I got you guys. I will get you to that website. I will get you that information, but I can't really talk too much about each item because you have no idea what you are in for. <laughs> First, we are going to start off with clothing. So I have this romper here from Old Navy, this dress from Old Navy, this little set from Carter's, this dress from Old Navy, which was $2.99. I have this dress, which I made because I sew. This Columbia bunting suit. I have this little shirt from Old Navy and it was 47 cents. I have this one from Old Navy, which was also 47 cents. I have these little pants. These were $1.47. This was sent from a subscriber. I have this adorable little dress that was also sent from a subscriber. This is from Nordstrom. This was also sent from a subscriber. It's a little sister shirt. Here's another set from Carter's. These are uh, another set of the onesies that I already have but in long sleeves. These were sent from a subscriber. This was sent to me from a very, very good friend of mine. <laughs> this is by Jessica Simpson. Here is another dress. This is from Macy's. These are all sent to me from a friend that we actually met through YouTube. She is expecting her rainbow baby as well. And then there's this one. Here's another dress that I made. Another dress that I made. Oh, here are the hats that go with those onesies. This dress is from Zara. She's a little newborn onesie. Another one, it says little sister. Here is a little romper from The Gap. This is also from The Gap. It's just like this adorable little shirt. I have these onesies that were given to me by a friend. I have this little dress right here and it has little unicorns on it. It's three to six months size and it's from an Etsy shop called Milk and Bones. There's their card. Isn't it so cute? I have this little set that was sent to me. Look at these little pants <laughs> and it comes with a hat and it comes with a bow. There's also a bow. Clothes are like piling up here. So I have this little set. This is knitwear that I got from Etsy. It's called Handmade by Atlas. She is so affordable and she's overseas. This is the knit set. How gorgeous is this? It is so beautiful and it is so well made. It feels like it came from like Baby Gap. This entire set is about 40, 40 ish dollars, 45 I think. And it comes with a little hat and it can, these little booties. <gasps> Isn't this like exactly what you wanna put like your newborn baby in? This is a little romper that is made out of the softest material ever. And this is by the House of Gangi. Her stuff is so amazing. It comes with this like little hat. It's so cute. And this is like $20 like or like 20 something bucks. Like it was so inexpensive and such amazing quality. You have the option to get the romper with this little hat or with this little bow. There's also another set that's a swaddle blanket and I'm going to show you that in a little bit. This gorgeous gown is from Cheerful Ivy. It is beautiful. It also has like the little sleeve mitts, perfect for a newborn so they don't scratch their face. How gorgeous is this pattern? And it also comes with the option of a headband or a hat, and I decided to go with the headband. All of the Etsy shops that I just mentioned will all be in the description box below. I got these hat scent. Aren't these cute? This little crown and booty knit set. This is from Macy's. I think we've officially made it through clothing. <laughs> 
slightly shocking but I'm okay with it now let's go on to shoes these are from cat and Jack and they're little unicorns so this baby's definitely gonna be a sweet and swag baby <laughs> my husband is gonna kill me <laughs> baby shoes <laughs> okay we have these that are literally useless these are there's no use to these shoes zero no use also the size of the shoes these are little rose gold newborn moccasins i did it i did i had to guys i had to do it you don't understand like i had to i just it just i was overcome by shininess these are like nude mary janes very cute i have these these are like little pewtery silver little booties and i have these these are her official moccasins these were purchased for her by my mom thanks mom i'm gonna make a bold statement and say that's it for shoes it's probably not going to be it for shoes but it should be it for shoes so i'm gonna say it's it for shoes <laughs> for slings i am working exclusively with beluga baby and i love them they are amazing i reached out to her hoping and praying that she would want anything to do with me because i love her slings and like her story and just everything about her so we, I'm going to be using just Beluga Baby wraps. I have two wraps here. I'm just going to pull them out quickly to show you the colors. They are gorgeous. Here is the striped gray. It is so beautiful. And here's the other color. It is such a beautiful color. It's absolutely my favorite. It has like just different tones in it. It's totally a chameleon. That's the one I've just been like referring it to because it looks like I could wear literally any color and it would just go perfectly with it. Now we're going to go over a few little essentials that I've gotten for her. These are mom hack type things. These are things that worked so incredibly well with Cooper that I definitely needed to have them with this baby girl as well. These are munchkin liners. Let me pull one of these out for you really quickly so you can see what it is. Guys, babies have explosions all day long and just like spit up and throw up and get three for like $7.99 on Amazon. On. They are amazing. They have a waterproof lining in the back and they are like really really soft here You can put them in the car seat. You can put them in the mama room You can put them in the bassinet. You can put them on the change table. You put them in the crib You can literally use them for anything another thing that I'm obsessed with is this comb right here It is like pennies. It's like a dollar something at Walmart It's the safety first cradle cap brush and comb the best way to get cradle cap out of your baby's hair coconut oil rub 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 take this comb part right here to get the like little pieces out of the baby's hair a one and done type of thing it's amazing another product that i did not have access to when cooper was born that just came out recently i believe i mean i feel like i would have known about this is a boppy water resistant protective slip cover i can't tell you how many times breast milk ended up on like the boppy and it just like saturated through and i'd have to wash it and cleaning a boppy is just like a nightmare so this actually goes underneath your cover but on top of the boppy if that makes sense and i cannot wait to use this it's going to solve all my problems so waterproof boppy liner i think it was around ten dollars on amazon boppy's great but i would get this these easy peasy mats if you you guys know i swear by them i have one for cooper and i use it non-stop they really are so handy especially when you're at a restaurant so i got them in the sage color because i wanted to be able to interchange them and use them with cooper and with our baby girl um but i thought this was girly enough so i got two of the mini mats and then i also have one of their newer products which is the mini bowl they're just fabulous so i got some of these as well so on to bath as you guys know i love tubby todd tubby todd is all we used on cooper and it will be the same thing for baby girl so i actually ended up getting the same lavender and rosemary wash for her and i actually went with a different lotion this time it is the honeysuckle and keens um i tried to say that word <laughs> in one of my past videos and it was just like a train wreck <laughs> I always love getting special towels for my babies. So this is her first towel that she has. It is from Target. I love it. It is the Cloud Island, which they have just like the most amazing stuff, guys. And it's super soft and it's adorable. 
Another mom hack, guys, or I guess, I don't know, is bamboo washcloths. They are super soft, amazing. I don't like using any other washcloth. Even like through washing and washing and washing them in the washer and dryer, they still say super soft. This entire set was like 10 bucks, so you get six of them. They are just, they're just amazing. They're just so gentle, and it's exactly what you would want to wash your baby with. Let's go on to like bows and accessories. So first thing that I got her was this box. I have a box like this for Cooper. I call it a keepsake box and I love to put all of their first stuff in it. So it has all of the cards that people um, wrote us and said congratulations like on the new baby. And it has all of the hospital stuff. So this is going to be her keepsake box. I think it's gorgeous. And this is from TJ Maxx Marshall's Home Goods, uh, and it was like $7.99. So this came the other day from a subscriber and it's from the Baxter clan, Jenny, Bradley, and Parker. And if you guys watch our channel, you know we have this like weird fascination with buffalo plaid. Cooper's like entire first birthday was just like a big just vomit of buffalo plaid. Um, but here are these adorable little head bows. They are so freaking cute. I love them. I also have a slew of pacifier clips for her in different colors. I'm gonna have so many more only because I made these. Um, I have an Etsy shop. It's called Fox and Bandit and I will link it in the description as well as the comments. But I have like these adorable little heart clips and I just think they're so cute. So I made her a bunch of different colors, hot pink, you know, I have a um, like a periwinkle color. We have this baby girl toy, some socks. We have a bunch of tights. I love cable knit, so these are all cable knit tights. I have like a gray pair. I have a white pair. I have um, little like polka dots. I have these heart ones that I got on sale. These she'll probably wear for Valentine's Day. I also got these little stockings. They're from Annie Felix Creations. It's so difficult to find really nice stockings for a baby in like really cute colors. And I found this Etsy shop and she makes all of her stockings. She gets white ones and she hand dyes them. How beautiful is this color? And I also got this little bow and they match. I have this bonnet that I got from Hadley Handmade. It is adorable. Once again, a buffalo plaid. <laughs> I have this bonnet that I got from Wilder Knot Shop. I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, but it's adorable. I have these bows that I got from Ella Rose Design Company. These are little like polka dot blue bows. These are meant for pigtails. I have these ones. How gorgeous are these? The best part about like all of the bow shops that I get my bows from is how affordable they are. I love affordable but handmade. This shop is like one of them. Guys, let me tell you, like gorgeous, gorgeous bows come out of this shop. And then these little ones too for when she's a newborn. And then I also have bows from Clara's Closet. These are gorgeous as well. Look at these bows. Beautiful. And these ones too. And you guys know I am always thinking about you. So yes, for some of these Etsy shops, I've gotten you guys some coupon codes. So please, please, please go into the description of this video and go and see the coupon codes for which shops and go check them out and go give them some love, okay? We are almost done, bear with me, okay? So first, here is my pink fawn design. This bag is in blush. You guys know that I have the black one for Cooper. And yes, I have a pink one now for baby girl. So I'm so excited to use this bag. The first time I'm going to use it is actually as the hospital bag. We live minutes away from the hospital and I really only plan hopefully on spending one night there. So I don't really need to bring too much. So I'm going to use this bag. It holds everything. So this is by Fawn Design. In here, let's talk about all of the swaddles and blankets that I have. This is from Fawn and Sage. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them. They are amazing. They make these gorgeous cocoon swaddles and I have one in this print. It is so beautiful. It basically just stretches right around the baby. Makes it super easy for changes and stuff like that. Here is the little bow that goes with it. You can choose a bow or you can choose a hat. I have this blanket for her. It is so pretty. I love it because it reminds me of all of the stuff I made for Cooper. I made this blanket for her and it's just like a nice big blanket. 
This blanket I designed along with the Etsy shop owner. This is a lovey. It's going to be her heirloom lovey. It is with a lace and cause fabric. It is so gorgeous. I love it. It's just so dainty and just classic. Gorgeous. Here is the swaddle, that really, really soft swaddle from House of Gangi. Um, this is like 20, it was like this and the headband, I think it was like $20 or $25. So soft, guys. So this is the swaddle part. This is coming with me in my hospital bag for sure. I also got her her very own wet brush. And then I also have this gather uh, changing mat. I love gather. These things fold up so nicely. I got this really, really cool print. Another thing that I got is from First Hello. This is an adorable little Etsy shop and they make these tags and it says Big Brother Cooper. He will wear this in the hospital when he comes and visits and I also got one for Baby Girl. It says Hello My Name Is and has her name on it. Obviously not gonna show you guys but I have these in my diaper bag ready to go. Ugh. I promise I have pants on. Woo! Okay guys, and the last thing that I got for baby girl is a Dockatot, yay! So I actually got the Dockatot in the marble color that just came out recently, and I got some accessories for it as well. We went with the hunter green travel bag. I got this extra cover for her. It is the black and white one. I think it's so beautiful. Uh, she has the art toy arch, and it comes with the little toys as well. Oh, and the one last thing that I just wanted to talk about is actually from Shop Kindred Together. It is this adorable little shop, and I got this bracelet. It is rose gold, and it has a mama bird with my initial. It has a little baby bird with a C on it and Cooper's birthstone, and it has a little initial for her on it with her month birthstone on it as well. Also, after talking, she ended up sending me this necklace as well. It's a little angel wing and it says mama on it. It's a necklace for the baby that we lost before this baby. This is our rainbow baby. But that is it. That is it for this baby girl haul, I think. I mean, it, it should be. Like, we'll just leave it at this because... You guys are just gonna judge me. I'm sure you were judging me like halfway through the video. Probably when we got to the, all the shoes, you were like, this girl, she needs to like calm down. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna check out the first baby girl haul that I did, I will have it linked in the iCard for you. And I will also have it in the description. Thank you guys again. If you have any questions, feel free to just comment below and I will answer them right away. And I will see you soon. Bye.